I want a grey, that's quite a cold grey for the tree, for the cliffs. And don't forget we've changed over the sun, the sun now is coming from this sort of direction. And um, But it's quite warm over here, so but it's cold here. See, this is the advantage of having cloud behind because it makes the cliffs stand out. We should be putting green over this, parts of this, but that's okay. I'd also be dropping some raw umber because some of the cliffs have certainly got a tone. Now, I haven't done much there because there's a lot of green. When that's dry, I want to mix it a slightly stronger grey and put some darker. That's quite light. I know it doesn't look light, but it is in relation to the rest of the picture. This is the thing you learn as you, the more paintings you do, you begin to learn tonal values, of course, that we talked about before. Okay, so we're going here, because it's in shadow, from where the sun is. The sun just catching that edge of the rock. Probably too sharp a shadow, that's probably all right. Okay, now then let's drop in some raw, raw umber. But we'll put a wee bit of red in it. Oof, that's too much red. But red is such a strong colour. Let's try a wee mixture of that. Mm, maybe. Yes. So I'm not putting it everywhere, I'm just putting it in patches. So, that'll do for the cliff so far. We'll probably be putting some darker colours in. But let's just start on the dreaded greens. And I want to make a very light grass colour. So I'm putting quite a lot of yellow in and then just putting a bit of red in to cool it off. And I've got this sort of a colour. It's still a bit bright, isn't it? The thing is, once it's on, you can still it can you can still alter the. It's very very light green up here. On the cliff, these houses are actually excavated into the into the cliff side. And then there's very little light green there. So that's the majority of the grass on this side of the 
I'm not going to consider this side at the moment. Let's get the cliffs finished, the difficult part. Then we'll mix the dark greens, raw umber. and ultramarine. There's some more light green, which fortunately I've got, got it still. But let's look at the dark greens. Some vegetation clinging to the cliffs. actual bushes clinging to the cliffs. Anywhere there's a um, little... Do you notice they're in onto the st strata? Which is a good way of showing that the cliffs are quite broken up. Here I'm going to make it a slightly... just add a bit more blue in it. Make a weaker colour towards the front of the cliff or furthest away because it's, it is further away and so everything starts going more bluey. And so while we want it dark, we don't want it. Right, that's probably, we may go back into that and just